Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com and today we are going to do stand up india scheme very important for ibps rrb gbo scale 2 and scale 3 exam theek hai so today we are going to do the benefits the eligibility criteria loan amount kya hai right everything and then there will be nine mcqs which are really really important for the exam right let's start the session my name is ramandeep singh and i've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years and it's really easy to reach me this is my personal whatsapp number drop me a message if there is any doubt in your mind you can also go to bankexamstudy.com for latest updates students ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 gbo 2023 course has already been started on bankexamstudy.com link is available in the description where you can join the course right so let's start the session with the startup india scheme it is a scheme by ministry of finance So question number one, point number one, it is a scheme by Ministry of Finance. Point number one, for financing SC, ST, or women entrepreneurs. Point number two, for financing SC, ST, or women entrepreneurs by facilitating bank loans. It's for providing finance for setting up green field project enterprises. Point number four, setting up green field projects. in manufacturing servicing uh, services and trading sector point number 5 agriculture is not there scheme was launched by prime minister narendra modi on 5th of april 2016 point number 6 theek hai and what is the objective point number 7 to promote entrepreneurship uh, among them among sc st and women entrepreneurs theek hai so uh, let's do redo the points first of all it is a scheme by ministry of finance point number 1 for financing sc st or women entrepreneurs point number 2 projects by sc st or women entrepreneurs point number 2 by facilitating bank loans they provide bank loans point number 3 for setting up green field projects point number 4 green field green field means innovative enterprises in manufacturing services and trading sector Point number five, scheme was launched by PM Narendra Modi on fifth of April twenty sixteen. Point number six, and what is the objective? To promote entrepreneurship among them, among among whom SC, ST, or women entrepreneurs. I hope this paragraph is clear to you. ये काफी कुछ समझा रहा है paragraph. Please read it. Okay, read it again and again. Some key features. Let me just hide myself so that you can read the entire screen. The loan amount ranges from ten lakhs to one crore. Point number one, representing seventy-five percent of the project cost. So what? Wherever I am marking the numbers, you have to, you need to remember that. Okay, here the seven pointers. You need to remember all of them. Loan amount ten lakhs to one crore. You need to remember representing seventy-five percent of the project cost. You can, you need to remember that. It can be there in your exam. A rupee debit card is issued for the convenience of the borrower. Point number three. A web portal by Sidbi provides handheld support, hand holding support. Hand holding support is provided by whom? By Sidbi. Sidbi provides hand holding support. Point number four. Through their uh, through a network of agencies engaged in training, skill development, mentoring, project report preparation, application filing, work shed, utility support services, and subsidy schemes. So said to be is providing hand holding support. Point number four. Each bank branch is expected to lend money uh, every year to at least one SCST borrower and one woman borrower for setting up green field projects. So each bank is expected to lend money to at least one SCST borrower and one woman borrower. A refinance window through said to be. With an initial amount of ten thousand, a refinance window through Sidbi. So a refinance window through Sidbi. Who is providing the refinance facility? Sidbi through Sidbi. With an initial amount of how much? Ten thousand crore. Initial amount of ten thousand crore. Okay, you need to remember that. And a credit guarantee corpus of five thousand crore through NCG. TC okay so this is another pointer point number 8 5000 crore through through ncg gtc and 10000 crore through sidbi so all these pointers are important wherever i am mentioning these points 
otherwise you can uh, go through in depth like 20 pages of content but this is really important and according to the latest data more than 40000 crores 40700 crores uh, rupees 40700 crore loans have been sanctioned to over 180630 accounts under the scheme till now so a big number what is the eligibility criteria NABARD administer this particular scheme. The scheme is administered by NABARD. So this is the point number one. The scheme is administered by NABARD. This is the point number one. To avail the loan applicants, they must meet the eligibility criteria, including they must be citizen of India, point number one. They must be at least 18 years old and they must have a minimum qualification of class 10 they must not have any criminal record okay so these are the four eligibility criteria they must be citizen of india they must be at least 18 years old and they must have a minimum qualification of class 10 and they must not have any criminal record this is the eligibility criteria to get a loan under the scheme to get eligible okay and what are the benefits you get the loan first of all that is the main benefit of startup stand up india scheme otherwise i mean why uh, i mean it, it was difficult for the startups uh, to get loans especially for the sc st borrowers and the women borrowers it was difficult to get loans but now they can get collateral free loans which makes it easier for the entrepreneurs to access finance and it targets the sc st and the women entrepreneurs which are often these categories are often excluded from traditional sources of finance okay and it provides training and mentoring that I already told you through Sidby, through network of Sidby. It has a strong focus on creating jobs and reducing poverty, working at the grassroots. The Stand Up India scheme is valuable resource for the entrepreneurs <coughs> who are looking to start and expand their business. <coughs> Why I'm teaching you the benefits? Why? Because you need to appear for interviews at the time of interviews these are important they may ask you what are the benefits you should know that collateral free loans are provided what is the eligibility criteria the features the introduction is very important here i gave you the most important pointers in the introduction only now you do the questions pause the questions and answer it yourself what is the minimum loan amount under stand up india scheme 10 lakhs and maximum one crore who is eligible to apply for stand up India scheme? Not any entrepreneur, SC and ST uh, entrepreneurs and women entrepreneurs who wants to set up greenfield enterprises. Okay. Which of the following is not a feature of stand up India scheme? Rupee debit card is issued, a web portal by CDB is provided, a refinance window is provided through CDB and NCG, NCGTC subsidy scheme it is not a subsidy scheme for interest reduction it is not that okay what is the name of web portal for online registration and support services under the stand up india scheme it is standupmitra.in very important very popular you should know the answer which of the following institution is a lead agency for implementing the stand up india scheme it is said to be Small Industries Development Bank of India. And what is the name of the credit guarantee scheme under the Stand Up India scheme? That is National Credit Guarantee Trustee Company Limited. Through this uh, Trustee Company Limited, uh, refinance facility is provided. Credit uh, credit guarantee is provided. Okay. Uh, so the corpus of 5000 crore is their credit guarantee scheme under Stand Up India scheme is provided by NC. GTC and there is a corpus of 5000 crore. Okay. What is the maximum repayment period for the loans under the stand up India scheme? What is the maximum repayment period? Seven years is the maximum repayment period. Seven years is the maximum repayment period for the loans under stand up India scheme. Okay. So there is a moratorium period that can also be provided up to 18 months. So which of the following sectors is not eligible for the loan under the stand up India scheme, agriculture, manufacturing services, trading, these are eligible agriculture is not eligible. Okay, which of the following documents is not required for applying for loans under stand up India scheme, proof of identity, uh, residence and caste is required proof of income is not required. Okay, that is not required. 
So students, IBPS, RRB, Scale 2 and Scale 3, GBO 2023 course is available on bankexamstudy.com. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, interview preparation guidance and live sessions on bankexamstudy.com. You can access the course through mobile apps as well as on the desktop dashboards. Link to join the course is available in the description. And this is our WhatsApp number and I hope you like the demo session that we did today. List of our successful students who took our courses in the past for Bank of Maharashtra uh, and Bank of Maharashtra 23, 22, RRB 22, 21, PNBS Sukhredi 21, Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer 2020, RRB Scale to Scale 3 2020, 2019. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. So if there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts. I'm always here to help your doubts. Let me just write down my mobile number, my WhatsApp number again. You can ask your doubts here. My name is Raman. And that's all for today, students. Subscribe the channel and like this video. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.